Being overwhelmed is completely normal. What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Daily Sean. For those of you who haven't been here before, my name is Sean. I do a daily video. on something related to nursing. No rhyme or reason. Probably not going to change. Being overwhelmed is completely normal when you become a nurse. This overwhelming feeling feeling of being overwhelmed, overwhelming feeling, is not only normal, but it's something that probably will stay with you your entire career. What's really cool about this feeling is that it becomes more and more manageable as time goes on. This is kind of like that oh shit feeling that I talked about several, several vlogs ago. Feeling overwhelmed, feeling as if the walls are closing in on you. Oh my God, what did I sign up for? Am I supposed to take care of all of that right now at this second? How in the world did somebody else figure this out? How in the world do other nurses do this? All completely normal. I remember that first time I felt that way when I, uh, I think it was very the very first time I had to study for like an AP exam pretty sure I shit my pants. Seriously? I gotta know all that for a, a, a one single test? And then that feeling kind of roller coastered with the very hard and specific exams of fluid and electrolytes as well as my cardiac exam. Both of those exams scarred me for life when I did my diploma program many many years ago. It's over a decade and I'm I can still remember it vividly. I can remember hunkering down upstairs in my parents' parents' house because I had to move home in order to afford nursing school. Move back home, sitting in my room in my parents' house, hunkered down, shades shades closed, windows closed on the Fourth of July weekend, studying my ass off. For, fluid and, for, the, for the fluid and electrolytes exam. Still haunts me to this day. That overwhelming feeling magnified when I went to my first clinicals, and then I'm pretty sure I passed out a couple times when I had to do my senior practicum when I was on my own taking care of like one or two patients. I remember vividly having to take care of a second patient. You want me to take care of two patients? Are you nuts? Yeah, then that progressed in my career when you become the new grad in the ICU and then you take care of one sick patient, then you take care of two sick patients, and then you take care of three sick patients, and then all three of those patients are as sick as snot! And then I remember, yeah, all three of my patients wanting to die at the same time. Did I mention overwhelming? Overwhelming never left me for many years because I changed jobs a couple times. Every time you change a job, you have that oh my god feeling of I gotta start over. I remember I remember vividly thinking to myself, I just need to stay in one place because I need to stay in my comfort zone. I need to stay just, just right here, right here, right here. Don't need to leave. And I was stupid enough to go back to school for like a third time and moved on to become a nurse practitioner. And then my very first job as a nurse practitioner, pretty sure I threw up a few times. I didn't want anybody to know I didn't know what I was doing. I seriously didn't want anybody to know that I think I had faked my way up to that point. There's no way... I was meant to be here. There's no way I should be here. Oh my God, let me go hide in the corner. You get the point? Are you seeing a theme? Overwhelming? It's what we do. It's who we are. It's how we flourish. There is a reason why we always say that not everybody can do this job. Because you have to deal with that on a daily basis. And what's really cool is that you figure it out. You master it. You get past it. 
I, I wish I could give you tips on how to manage the overwhelming feeling, but quite honestly, it's a transition that happens without any effort because you got to figure it out or you need to find a new job. And while that might be a little acute and might be a little unfeeling, that's what you signed up for. That's the job. Not everybody can do this job. There are people that can slice the bread and there are people who cannot. And I like to think that 99% of us rise to the occasion. We figure it out. We utilize our resources. We dig deeper inside of us and we figure it out. Because we decided to become a nurse for a reason and that is the reason that gets you through all of that horrible, overwhelming feeling. I would love to hear what other nurses have to say about the overwhelm, the overwhelming feeling, the feeling of being overwhelmed. It is not something that goes away. It is not something that... I, I don't think it ever truly disappears. You just get better at it. Love to hear what you have to say about this one. Leave your comment down below. You know your comments are my caffeine. Share this with somebody. Share this with anybody. Any nurse that you think could benefit from this. Share the vlog and pass it on. And as always, check your own pulse first. I mean, I'm going to have to stop wearing these kind of colors because I still think I'm glowing.